this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to use what is called higher dimensional manifestation to create what you want in your life. This can really go beyond that of just the law of attraction into a totally new realm where we are able to create from a higher state of consciousness. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create from a higher level consciousness or what we could call the higher dimensional states. And this has to do with understanding really who we are at more of a fundamental core level. Now this is something I haven't really talked about before. It's something that's definitely been on my mind. It's something that I've researched quite a bit, especially back when I first went through my spiritual awakening in 2012. And it's understanding really who we are at our core. We could say this is our core frequency, our core vibration. And what happens is what life is many times is us weaving in and out of this core frequency. And when we're in it, things happen very well. We grow very fast, things happen in our favor. And when we get out of it, we get negative emotion that's showing us, hey, get back in alignment with who we really are. So from a certain level, we could say this is also about alignment, but what I wanted to do is to take it a place that it really hasn't been before. I don't hear many people talk about this, and it's understanding who we are beyond that of this life. Now, the reason I say this is because when we become aware that we are so much more than we can even imagine, it's so much easier for us to then have more of a flexible type understanding of how we can create what we want. Rather than seeing this is the way it is and this is what I can create, we almost put ourselves in more of little boxes of this is what I can do. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you is understanding that at our fundamental core, we are immortal spiritual beings living temporary human experiences. That what quantum physics shows us is that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, it simply exists. In a similar way, our consciousness will always exist. So from a certain perspective, we can begin to relax a little bit more in knowing that this is a temporary, cool kind of experience we're meant to be having right now. I think personally that there is a sort of transition happening on the planet where more and more people are waking up to who they are at this greater sense. And that as we wake up to who we are at this greater sense, we also gain more of an ability and an awareness of how we create our own realities and how there is this correlation between what we think and what we experience. Now, as we become more aware of this, we then have more of an ability to direct it in the way that we want, especially because it looks and appears that so many more people are waking up than ever before. I remember back in 2012 when I went through my awakening and I looked around and I didn't see that many people going through an awakening. Now there were a lot still because still online there were hundreds of thousands if not millions of people that were going through a spiritual awakening. However, now it is so much more commonplace because people are just waking up and understanding, hey, there's more to life than just ego structure that I identify with. And people are realizing, hey, I wanna start directing my life in a powerful way. And that's why channels like mine may be growing quickly. So it's something I think is very empowering. And when it comes to this, there is a certain type of way that I look at it. And it's in a way that life is a form of dream. That in a way, we right now, this is something Abraham Hicks talks about, right now we exist here in what appears to be physical reality, but at the same time we exist in what is called non-physical. Now the way that I interpret this, that's what Abraham Hicks says, the way that I interpret this is that we are at a higher state of consciousness always, but we may be dreaming that this is who we are, but the cool thing is when we go to bed at night, we wake up to these higher states of consciousness. Now in higher states of consciousness, we exist in unconditional love, in bliss. We have more bendability between space and time. This is who we naturally actually are, but we go through the veil, we go through the experience that we go through in our life, and we experience negative emotion, distancing ourselves from that natural state that we naturally are, and then we go through the experience of the pain, sometimes the pressure that causes us to then go back to it. So one of the purposes of life, I believe, is to wake up to this higher state of consciousness and knowing that that is who we naturally are. We don't have to try to be that. That's why when we feel love, 
we feel and we're looking at someone and we feel connected to them, that feels good because that's our natural state of being. We don't have to exert a whole bunch of energy in order to do that. It just happens naturally. But when we look at someone and we feel bad or we feel negativity, that's telling us, hey, you're out of alignment from this natural high vibrational state of consciousness that you naturally are. And that's what life is. Life is about remembering that, letting go of what doesn't serve, and then embodying how we prefer to be. So this higher state of consciousness and in the higher realms, which is I believe who we naturally are, that's where we normally are. Almost everybody here is normally is in those realms right now anyways, but that's the natural state that we exist in. There's just a lot of people that have chosen to be alive right now because of this transition that's happening on the planet, a grand awakening where millions and billions of people are going to be waking up over the next so many years. So it's something that collectively we've decided to all go through together. Now, that's one aspect of it. But the other aspect is understanding this part of it when it comes to that that is who we naturally are, dreaming that this is who we are now in this awake state. But the key is more so connecting with what we call our higher self. Because in this higher realm of consciousness, there is no time and space. It just things happen instantaneously. We don't have to try so hard. It's a natural byproduct of who we are. And it's about knowing that when we exist in that high state of consciousness, we emit love. We emit feelings that go beyond that of just the normal feelings we probably feel in our life right now. And when we begin to align to more of the emotions and more of the feelings of that higher version of us, what we could call our higher self, we start to manifest things much, much faster because then we're coming at it from our core frequency. So when it comes to this process, this is about understanding first and foremost, if we simply follow our passion, we start to move more in the direction of living as our higher self. This is one of the fundamental parts of this process. I believe the reason I have kind of really just been going in this whole new direction on in what I do for a living, you know, like doing YouTube full time and really just living in a level of abundance I've never had before. It's because I'm doing what I'm passionate about. There's another aspect of it I'm going to talk about in a minute, but I love what I do and it doesn't feel hard for me to focus on it. You know, I focus on what I do probably about 12 hours a day and that's because I love what I do. So I'm making videos, I'm editing videos, I'm doing other stuff for my business and I love doing it because it's a natural part of who I am and it's a that when I do it, I feel in this high vibe state. So if you do, haven't found that yet, don't beat yourself up about it. Simply set the intention to find out what you're passionate about and understand the more you do so, the vibration and the excitement you may feel in your body when you're doing certain things, when you're reading a certain type of book, when you're into a certain type of material, whatever it is, that is your body telling you, hey, go in this direction. This is where you're meant to be. This is closer to your core frequency. And as you begin to embody more of that passion, it begins to transform your life because it leads you to a momentum of more passion, of more things that serve you, of more things that can really get you to where you need to be at the right place at the right time. So this is about understanding that who we naturally are is a high vibrational state of consciousness that in the higher dimensional realms, we manifest things instantly. We feel things, we feel love as our natural base point. We don't really, here we experience duality. So we experience the experience of being disconnected, but of course we never are from this source energy, but it's about realigning with this type of energy. So at our fundamental core, we are immortal spiritual beings living temporary human experiences. We exist right now in a higher state of consciousness. We are dreaming that this is who we are. And when we go to bed at night, many times we think, oh, I'm gonna go to bed at night. But what we really do is we wake up to who we naturally are. Then when we wake up in the morning, we say, oh, this is who I am. And we get some type of dream. And this dream is something that we're like, oh, did that really happen? Or was that just some type of symbolic representation? And normally what it is, is in the higher realms of consciousness, we don't have any base point for what that could be because we interpret our reality here through our five senses. We can taste, hear, smell, touch, but in the higher dimensional realms, there may be senses we don't even understand here. So what we do is we get a level of interpretation 
we get a level of symbolism that we can understand through our subconscious mind or ways that we can understand. So we get these symbols, you know, we were with some old coworker doing something, you know, sometimes I'll have weird dreams at my old job, even though I'm not there anymore, but I understand that there's some type of symbolic representation, but in higher dimensional realms of consciousness, there may be no type of base point or no type of uh, reference that we have using our brain and what we can imagine here. So we get symbols, but in higher dimensional realms of consciousness, that's who you really are. You are unconditional love. You are bliss. You will exist. You will always exist. So we can begin to relax and know that manifestation could be so much easier than we priorly thought that it was because manifestation is a natural byproduct of the way reality works. Just like it's a natural byproduct of the way it works in the higher dimensions, it's also a natural byproduct for the way reality works here. It's just that we create more of this kind of tug and give and pull and all of this stuff when it comes to the level of emotion that we feel. So here, there's a little bit more range. Instead of just the unconditional love that we feel in the higher dimensions, here there's duality. So we may experience the less good emotions. We may doubt ourselves. We may feel negative emotion that brings us into the pressure that then allows us to come out on the other end. So that's a part that I wanted to talk about is what you can begin to do is to align with your higher self by doing what you're passionate about, by knowing that anytime you have negative emotion, that is your body telling you, Hey, you are out of alignment. You are thinking out of alignment to who you naturally are. When you look at someone else and you feel connected, that is because you are seen through the eyes of source. That's what Abraham Hicks would say. You are seen through the eyes of your higher self. And it's about connecting to that, reconnecting to that, and remembering that that's who you really are. And when you begin to do that, then reality becomes much more flexible. Now, there's this one other part of living in this higher dimensional state of consciousness and manifesting from it I wanted to talk about. That is understanding this. It's called a theory of everything, a toe, a theory of everything. And it's understanding that it's highly probable that we live in a form of dream. It's highly probable that we live in a form of simulation in the same way that we could put on VR goggles and not know the difference. There's uh, no reason to say that we're not already doing that from a higher level of consciousness. We're just using these bodies as VR goggles. And the reason I say this is because we are all connected and we exist and we can start, kind of start to just relax to all of that and to understand that we don't really have to fear death or fear this or fear that because we will always exist in some form. Now, the key is understanding that when we want things just for ourselves, what we do is we put ourselves into a form of box and it's almost like when we want things for just ourselves and not for other people as well, what we do is we limit ourselves and also the universe can only do so much for us because what is good for us and what we think is good for us isn't good for everyone else. What we want to do is create what are called win-win scenarios. So for example, my being connected to my higher self and me doing what I'm really passionate about, one of the benefits of that is not just for me, but it's for other people because other people get the benefit of the information that I put out. I put that intention under everything that I do. Now, in the theory of everything, it's about knowing that just like we make our life better, there is a system as well. The system is the collective consciousness. And when we have an intention to help the collective consciousness, not it doesn't mean we have to help everybody, but when we have a general intention of adding value to other people, we tap into letting the universe manifest for us. So instead of us just want to manifest for ourselves, what can I get? What can I get? What I can I get? It's more so how can we make this a win-win for what can I get, but also what can I add value to other people for? How can I do that? Because we then tap into a larger scope of letting the universe manifest for us and what is good for us is also good for the universe, good for everyone else involved. So that's one reason I believe, honestly, my YouTube channel has grown so much because I put so much intention into adding value to the people that consume my content that it's almost like the universe wants my information, it's not my information, but the information to come through because what happens is then it helps more and more people in the quote unquote system, in the collective consciousness. Just like we are creating our own, our own reality, we create our own reality. We could think of it like an energy bubble around our body of our energy field. We create our own reality. There's a certain bubble where we connect to everyone else, where we are also co-collectively creating our reality at a collective level. This is who wins the presidency. This is all of these different aspects of collective consciousness. 
but it's about understanding that these collective consciousness or the way that we that we create our own reality is not only ourselves but also collectively and when we add value to the collective that's when the universe wants to manifest for us that's when we tap into that higher dimensional state of consciousness because we have that view when we're looking at it through the eyes of source we also want to add value to other people. We want to still add value to ourselves. We still want to make ourselves happy. We can't really make anyone happy without making ourselves happy first. But the key to this is understanding that when, if we want to tap into a much higher dimensional realm of consciousness, add value to other people. This is something that Napoleon, Napoleon Hill, I was almost going to say Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> this is something that Napoleon Hill has talked about in Think and Grow Rich add value to other people, decide what you're willing to give in return for what you get in life. And this is so many other people have said the same thing, but it's actually true because what we put out, when we make it a win-win, it's almost like it wants to flow through us, especially when our ego doesn't identify with it. Sometimes if we identify too much with what we're doing, we may get caught up in the ego and then create resistance and then things don't happen as easily. The key is to allow it to come through, to allow yourself to add value to other people, to see it through the eyes of source, to understand that anytime you feel negative emotion, it's simply coming from a translation, your body's translation telling you saying, hey, you're out of alignment with who you really are. Let go of those negative emotions. Know that you are an immortal spiritual being living a temporary human experience, that if if you exist now, you will always exist. So the key then is about embodying more of those higher vibrational states of consciousness by connecting to your higher self, doing what you're passionate about, and seeing ways that you can add value to other people, seeing ways it adds value to the whole, and by doing that, you tap into a greater stream of consciousness where the universe will actually manifest for you. So this is something that has changed my life. This is something I hope has changed and will change your life, especially if you begin to apply it. So something else I'll be doing is more live Q&As on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, I'll go ahead and link it right here. I do live Q&As there quite often. I also do live meditations and I post daily content over there as well. So if you want more content from me, you check it out there. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification here next to the subscribe button so that you can see the daily vids that I do. The way YouTube does things now is you actually have to hit that notification button to see my daily vids. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.